So today we're just going <clears> to <throat> talk about one feature AJHQ really needs to add really bad. And we're just going to decorate my new sapphire den in the background. So the thing I think AJHQ really needs to add is a trade log. Am I thinking trade log? What do you mean by a trade log? Well, what I mean by, what I mean by a trade log is that you could see like every, it was something you could just tap and you could see everybody you've traded in the past like like say the past hour or the past two hours the past day or the past week and you can just see their username you can like click the username open up their player card now I think why okay why well if you think well what a lot of times what happens is somebody will scam you and then they'll just leave with your rares and you'll never see them again and you won't get to see the username. And then they just took off with your rares and you're never getting them back. And you can't report them. So you just have... You, you lost your rare. Some dirty scammer. That should be banned forever. And should hate themselves forever. Because they're an awful person. And you're never going to see them again. You're never going to be able to report them. Well if you had a trade log. You can just go. See the last person you traded. And then report them. And that way it would cut down scamming because people would realize, okay, now people can report us much easier. It, we can't scam like this anymore. So they realize they can't scam anymore because people will actually report them. And then they will actually get banned. And their scam will stop working. And really, I do not think it would be that hard to implement because I mean Animal Jam has to be keeping track of what people trade because I mean when you make a trade you know the new item shows up in your inventory so we just we really need a trade log we cut down scamming so much I know Animal Jam has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to scamming and I was thinking about because I was watching I found a really cringy video where a mom who's never played Animal Jam before was describing the story of her daughter getting scammed. And it was just cringy at first. Cause like, what is a rare? Can I buy you one? Can I just buy back all your rares? And then this thing came up about somebody just acting out a scam with some a Animal Jam toys. And I thought, you know, you should be able to have a trade log so you can just see and re easily report the people who scammed you. And then also, if you wanted to better understand how rare an item was, you can go into your trade log and see, okay, they accepted that trade that I tried to trade for, so it's worth, like, around this. And you could just see that a lot easier, and it would just be a lot convenient, and it could prevent scamming. And it would just be so much better. There's, there's actually a lot of other... I have sent Animal Jam that feedback, just because it's, it's a really good idea that would cut down on scamming and make people scam less, hopefully, and I know that as Animal Jam is like, and I know, yeah, Animal Jam has zero tolerance for scamming and hacking, so it would just be an overall very good idea. And another idea I have that would probably... Prince Gaming is, and I've said this before, a trading post or, like, auction house where people could, like, post the trades that they want to make so you wouldn't have to, like, stand in the Sapphire shop saying, like, Pegasus helmet for Pegasus boots. Like, you wouldn't have to say that. You could just post they want to trade a Pegasus helmet for some Pegasus boots. And you could just see that so much easier and just be, and also cut down scamming because if people actually wanted to scam somebody, they would have to post it publicly where everybody could see them, they could see their username, and then they could report them. And it would just cut down scamming a lot because nobody likes scammers. If I were to make a list on the most annoying things in Animal Jam, I wouldn't put scamming on that list because it's not just annoying. It is destructive. When somebody scams you 
like when I when I got scammed out of my ice armor, I was crying. I actually I legitimately started crying, and then I got angry, and then I was like throwing things. I remember what they looked like. I actually drew a picture of them and punched it multiple times. You just get the anger out. I was so upset at that 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 person had scammed me and that I was upset with myself because I fell for it. And I was just, it was awful. I, I hated it. It was so, so, so awful. Because, yeah, scamming, it, scamming sucks. No one likes a scammer. If you are a scammer, you are a bad person. If you are a scammer, I hate you automatically. If you are a scammer, not like if you scam some, if you like scam somebody once because you like fell in, because you like gave into peer pressure or something, and you feel bad about it. You're okay if it was, you fell into peer pressure when you were young and stupid, and you feel bad about it. But if you were like regularly scamming, and it's just a normal thing for you to scam. You're a bad person. You should hate yourself. I hate you. I hate yourself. If you're a scammer. Because scamming isn't good. And yes, AJHK has no tolerance of it. So if you scam, you will get banned. And I really wish there were a way in while Jam would get your rares back. But then there was people trying to get free rares by saying that they were scanned out of things that they never actually owned. So, really, if you just can't trust people, but online, I don't do trust trades. I did ha do have some fun playing flash trading with my friend in real life, but you know, they were my friend in real life. I actually trusted them. They gave me my items back. And I mean, they logged out of their account to help me transfer some items from storage accounts. And they for have forgotten that they do not know their password. And I felt really bad, so I just kind of let them use my storage account and just told them the password to it. And just like, okay, it's your account now. I transferred all the rares off it, and I <laughs> has most of the items your old account had. And so... <laughs> Even if you had taken my items, I could have, like, hacked them off. I probably wouldn't have done that, because we didn't put anything actually that rare to, to trade. But I could have done that. Well, I'm getting really sidetracked right now. Another feature that probably wouldn't be that hard to add is... That would prevent scamming. Is if you could have, like... If you could, like, have an account lock where no one would be able to go in your account. That way, if you knew, that would prevent hacking. Because if you knew you weren't going to be logging onto your account, you could, like, lock your account. And so even if you had fallen for, like, an... So even if you had fallen for, like, one of those item generators, even if you had fallen for one of them... I see them a lot on Instagram. Whenever I do stumble across one, I always try to report. I always report it to AJHQ, and they always just send back the same message that I'm pretty sure is just sent by a computer. <laughs> it says thank you for the report. <laughs> but if you could just let's say you did fall for one of these, and then your friend, and then you're told. So you're friendly, hey, I DM'd this random person on Instagram my username and password, and they're gonna, like, give me spikes. And then your friend was like, you know those aren't real, right? And you're gonna get hacked. And they're like, oh, no. And then they could just, like, lock their account, and they weren't gonna use it. So they couldn't get hacked. It would just, the message pop, would just pop up saying, this, like, this account is locked and cannot be... Like, this account is locked, and you cannot log into it at this time. That, that would, honestly, 
because you cannot, then you do not be able to log onto your account and steal all your items. Because you would just, you know, make it where, um, where you could just lock it when you weren't going to play it. And then you could unlock your account when you were going to start playing it. And it would be, you thinking, well, then why can't the hacker just unlock the account? Well, it would be when it asks for your parents' email, it would be through there. And so you could do that. And then you basically would not be able to hack. That would prevent hacking by a lot because a lot of the a lot of the stuff doesn't actually come on Animal Jam. It's like on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I see a lot of Instagram pages saying to DM them your username and password and they would give you rares. But you never end up with the rares, you just end up with less rares because they have hacked you. You have been hacked. And that's no good. No one likes being hacked. So please do not fall for any of these item generators. They are all fake. If And if somebody is actually giving away stuff, they would just ask for your username. And then you could DM and say, hey, at 8, o'clock, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you can just go to my den and I'll just give you the item. And I'll just, bu- just buddy me and I'll just jam a grand me the item. That, that would be the actual way to do it. Because they just know your username and any, it doesn't really matter if someone knows your username. Like right now, my username is XXCrazyCat. I don't care that anybody knows that. My username is XX Crazy Cat. That is information that you're allowed to share. But I wouldn't I wouldn't actually tell tell you what my password was. The Ammo Gym does have safety features with the passwords. Which so you can't make your password just the same as your username and you can't make your password password, but then again what site does let you make your password password it usually just says an invalid password or like this is a too common password please choose a more secure password so that I think is going to be it for this video these are just some features Animal Jam really should add because it could prevent skimming and hacking and some of them probably wouldn't be too difficult even if it is kind of difficult, it would prevent scamming and hacking. Because some people I have known get scanned out of all their rares, and they just do not see a point of playing Animal Jam anymore. And they just quit, which is really sad. But it, it happens. So please, do not scam. Do not hack. These are bad things. You are a bad person if you scam and hack. I'm just going to say it. If you scam somebody like once and you legitimately feel bad about it and you just fell into peer pressure, as long as you feel bad about it and have apologized to that person and they've forgiven you and you have given them the item back, Mm -hmm. then I guess you're probably fine. If you have any morals, you will not scam or hack. I've heard Pepper's story how she fell into peer pressure and scammed somebody and was like crying in her room for hours afterwards she felt so bad because she had just lost a friend but that is it for this video please make sure to comment down below if you have any other features that you think AJHQ really should add to cut to prevent scamming and hacking and I might pin your comment if I think it is a really good idea and make sure if you even make sure if you do have another idea that you send it into AJHQ through the feedback feature, you just go into settings, feedback, and then you have to like answer a question. It sounds make maybe makes you feel stupid because it's like fourth, third grade multiplication and sounds you can't answer it. But <laughs> great, I just like so I have to answer another question. But you just, you drag a little bubble, and then just type in, 
what you think would be a nice feature and then you just press send. There and then just happens it. There's just a message that says thank you for your backs up. So